But in this time, I have learned not just uh, about the war and science. I have learned how to teach. We should follow the 5E model. So using this model, I can use these steps to teach to my kids. Even I have used these steps in my school. So I'm very proud of the, this program uh, from Senacid and the uh, University of South Florida because they have taught me how to teach. And my kids are learning a lot and they are engaged with all the activities, the hands-on activity, with the things that they have to touch, with the things that they have to see, to hear, to smell. So it's amazing and they are loving this subject, especially science in English. So I'm so proud of everything that the government is doing for us and we are doing our best to teach our kids. This course has helped me a lot in different ways. First of all, thanks to the professors from the University of South Florida that they have shown me different ways of how to teach. Because first of all, it is important to mention that this is my first year as a teacher and this is new, different from the from the things that I have, that I was accustomed to do. So in this course, I have a different view of how to teach because as, a, as I am working with kids, they love to explore. They love to invent. They love to talk, talk and participate. So learning here with the USF, with these different topics, for example, the long-term investigation, the activity with the banana, the magnets. They are so excited when I get those materials to the classroom. They are like, oh my God, what are we gonna do today, teacher? Oh, teacher, where are the animals? And I am like, okay, the, the animals for the next class, but we have to continue. So they love to invent, they love to explore, they love science. In fact, I have students who say that, okay i want i want this week on wednesday because we have science with you and they are so excited when i am in the classroom that i don't have words for me this experience as a teacher has been beautiful and different definitely different <laughs> from what i accustomed to do i'm so happy for that because i never could imagine in my life that i will be a science teacher and i'm so excited to be here in Explora and Thanks to the USF and the Senacid and Meruca and Panama Bilingue for giving us, to all of us, this opportunity. From Darien to City of Knowledge, I take approximately like a five or six hours. That was so amazing because I didn't know that you have to explore one thing can turn into something more beautiful, you know? So when I, when I saw the, the, the larva, I think, oh my God, what are you gonna do? But then, when I was at home, I, I thought, oh God, this is amazing, because I can see how an animal, an animal is going to change it step by step. I took the, the, the larva to my school, and I said to the student, hey, we are going to collect data about the larva. What do you see? What can you see here? How many larvas do you see? how many legs the larva have. So my students were, were so excited to explore. They were enjoying the, the, the time with the larva because they, they don't have that opportunity to collect that before, to do that with another teacher. But me, I am a science teacher. They are so excited when I'm into the classroom because they say, oh my God, the teacher is here. So. We are going to explore, explain, we are going to discuss almost everything because I love to make questions with my students. Hey, do you know? Hey, what did you want to do? Hey, did you know this? This experience has been very, very, very um, emotional for me, very um, good for me because what I learned here, I was able to um, transmit this um, learning to my students and they are totally excited with what they are learning. I'm glad to be here. I have a lot of experiences that I'm applying in my, um, my class with my students. 
especially I love when we talk about engaged students in long-term investigation. We used to talk about investigation in our classrooms, but we don't apply that. So I love that topic and I want to thank you, our teachers, Jenny, Katie and Dr. Feldman, for all the knowledge that they share with us. I take uh, four or five hours from Darianes and I live in Metatin. I take always the, the bus at four in the morning to travel to the school to be on time. I share all my questions with my students. The opportunity to partner with the USF office here in Panama has just offered so many opportunities for both USF in Tampa and USF here in Panama. Um, there are so many resources here that are available to us to share with the teachers. And I think that's the most exciting part about this program is all of the resources that we are tapping into and making the Panamanian teachers aware of. It just gets me so excited and it gets the teachers so excited and I think we're starting to really see how science when working together can take off to influence elementary teaching and learning. Go to the Smithsonian, invite the teachers, let them see all the resources and then help the teachers take the Smithsonian back to their children in the classroom. It's so amazing the photos that the teachers took of the turtles, of the frogs and all the exciting things that they got to experience and I think that excitement is going to go back into the classrooms. The experience for us um, to share with our students Something that we would like to bring our students here in um, Sistonian. That the first time I have been here, I, I come from Comarca Nove Bugle. And having this experience with this group of teachers from different provinces is, is something that I think is a new experience for all of them, mainly for me, because you know, living in Comarca is not, it's not easy to flow to be a professional, but I am here and Senacid have bring me this opportunity and I'm going to take advantage with this and share with other people to share with my people in the countryside in Comarca Nove and with the rest of the teacher as well as with the students. Thank you so much Senacid, thank you so much also Minister of Education and all these people that who is in charge of this program. Today I learned the difference between a frog and a tool. I did not know that the tool walk and that the frog jump. I thought that the, um, tool, the difference was one bigger and the other. But today I learned this, that there is also small tool. Today we are here to learn more about Panama Canal. We have learned that many people died during the construction due to um, yellow fever and also due to mud slides because of the environmental conditions and rains. Also we have learned that the um, new canal uh, offers more things to the other countries. For example, ships bigger can pass through the canal due to this um, expansion of the canal. Also, I feel like very proud to be a VIP member of this staff because we have learned about the museum, about fish, about different species that that we have here in Panama and I didn't know about it. So I feel very proud of being Panamanian and to have this awesome Panama Canal. I'm proud to be a VIP invited by uh, Panama Canal. I, I thank to uh, Senacid, USF, I'm part of the science teacher group and I'm really proud to be a Panamanian and have this incredible experience. Uh, even though I'm, I'm from the city, it is incredible that we have so marvelous things here and I invite you to come also. They are really, really happy here giving the experience about the renewable and non-renewable um, resources. We are here to learn about Panama Canal, a new expansion of Panama Canal. Uh, this expansion has a um, new program that they save water, that's important for all taking care of the water and save water for our future because right now uh, the devastation, deforestation around here in Panama Cana uh, is reducing water. So the purpose uh, that we are doing here right now is learn about this and then transmit to our uh, students in the school. I'm an English teacher and I have been working as an English teacher 
for 22 years. I took the opportunity to apply for this program, the Science Elementary Certification offered by Meduca, USF, and Senasif, and then let me tell you how everything changed. Now, I'm not an English teacher anymore in the classroom. I am a science teacher. Science works differently when you're teaching. You work with the 5E lesson plan, uh, and you follow the steps to guide your students to become real scientists, not inside the classroom, but outside the classroom, because science happens everywhere. Uh, I love how I have changed as a teacher, because every time I'm planning a lesson, I'm thinking, how can I can make this meaningful for students? How can I make them realize that science is important and understanding the world that, is, that surrounds them is important? So right now we are in Explora, trying to apply what we have learned in the course regarding motion and light. Let me tell you, this experience has changed my life. We are the first group, but I invite you to apply for, for being part of this initiative for the second group. Either if you're an English teacher, a science teacher, or a regular homeroom teacher, come to this program. It will change your life, and it will change your students' perspective on science.